Hola everyone! Today I'm going to be doing another top 5 OMG moments from the newest episode of The 100. Obvious spoiler warning for episode 6 of season 3 titled Bitter Harvest. So if you haven't seen the episode yet, you are number one in danger of falling behind, which is something that you don't want to do. And number two, you are in danger of spoiling the episode if you watch this video. So hurry up and watch the episode and then come back and watch this. Hey, right, top five OMG moment number one, Cavi. So this wasn't exactly the Cavi kiss that I'm still waiting for. However, I was super pleased slash ecstatic slash I'm not gonna lie to you, I squealed a little bit slash I just lied to you, I squealed a lot <laughs> when I saw the cavi scene that we did get this week. So Kane is still desperately trying to stop Pike from starting a war with the Grounders and he believes that the only way to do that is to send people like Octavia and Miller into harm's way. Abby, who's... Uh, Abby reassures him and tells him that the kids they sent to the ground are not kids any longer before kissing him on the cheek and calling it hope. <laughs> Aww, it just makes me so happy. <laughs> uh, now that we've seen a little bit of affection between the two of them, I think it's safe to assume that the kiss should be coming very, very soon. Uh, probably either in the next episode or the episode after that. Uh, for my sanity and for the sake of all of my friends who are sick of hearing me talk about this, I'm really hoping that it's this episode. <laughs> Top 5 OMG moment number 2, Clark and Emerson. So once again, I still think that Lexa is listening to Clark just a tad too much this season. I mean, Lexa is commander of the Grounders, not Clark. So Lexa should be the one making all the decisions, you know, not Clark. Uh, in this episode, Lexa gave Clark the choice of whether or not to spare Emerson's life or whether to kill him. Uh, Clark first decided to kill him, which everyone was really happy about. And then at the last minute it was all like, nah, you know what, let's let him live with all his demons instead uh, because that's mu a much worse fate. And I do agree with her, that would definitely be horrible. I mean, he said to himself, 381 residents in Mount Weather died that day. There were only 382 residents in Mount Weather. Emerson was literally the only person to survive. Um, so yeah, you know, he would literally be living with demons for the rest of his life. But... Clark is seriously so up and down this season that I just don't know what to think. I stand by what I said, though. I am super glad that she's been a little more sidelined this season, uh, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens in the rest of the season to see whether she'll remain there or whether she'll come sort of more front of the action. Top five OMG moment number three, the ambush at the Grounder Village. Pike sucks. Well, I'm just, I just, I just going to put that out there. Pike sucks. So he is basically just killing Grounders now for the sake of killing Grounders. Um, thanks to Octavia, the Grounders in the village were aware of the attack. However, instead of leaving like they um, like she pleaded them to, they instead decided to lay a trap for Bellamy and the others, which unfortunately led to the death of Monroe. I mean, the poor girl survived the attack on Mount Weather and she was one of the original hundred who survived the initial attack by the Grounders, only to be killed thanks to Pike. And I stand by that it was Pike's fault. You know, it wasn't Octavia's fault. I mean, yes, okay, Monroe probably shouldn't have thrown her lot in with uh, Pike. That was her fault. But, I mean, Bellamy can be pretty persuasive. I can guarantee that it was Bellamy who convinced her to join, not Pike. But still maintain it was Pike's fault. Everything is Pike's fault. Top five OMG moment number four, Ali. This City of Light thing is, like, super creeping. Um, so the way people were literally lining up to be taken to the city was just horrible, and now there are just so many of them. Thank goodness Abby is finally, finally being a badass and has put a stop to people taking the, the chip or whatever it is, uh, because as she puts it, it's eliminating more than just pain. So in my opinion, and from what it, you know, what I've seen, it looks as though it's also eliminating free will, which sucks, especially since Raven took it. She had like the most free will of any of them and was awesome for it. She's not as fun anymore. Abby also managed to stop Jasper from taking the pill or the chip or whatever, which I think is going to cause him to go even more cray cray than he has already this season, which could be problematic for everyone. In this episode, Ali also had a mission for Raven. Apparently there was an an AI sort of Ali 2.0, if you will, uh, on the arc, and Ali needs it to complete whatever it is she's trying to complete. So he is hoping that she never gets her hands on it. And top five OMG moment number five, Murphy. So I was right. 
Okay. Uh, Murphy is once again being tortured. However, I was very, very wrong as to who took him. Turns out that it was Titus, Lex's right-hand man. I didn't see that one coming. Even stranger, uh, it turns out that Polis may actually have once been one of the 13 stations in space, which is another thing that I just did not see coming. <laughs> Um, it was actually, it looks like it was the station that was blown out of the sky before Unity Day, so the 13th station that they don't really like to talk about because, you know, they blew it out of the sky. So this is backed up by what looked to be an escape pod with the word Polis on it and the fact that the 13th station was called Polaris. So just take out the A and R in Polaris, you get Polis. Considering this is the station that Ali believes that the version 2 of her AI is on, it's definitely possible that Raven and Jaha are going to team up with Titus at some point in this season to do something that I still haven't figured out yet. I will get back to you on that. Before I go, here are four questions I'm hoping get answered in the coming weeks. Question number one, when do Avi and Kane kiss? <laughs> Has to be the next episode, right? Right? Question number two, when will Octavia break Lincoln out of prison? Question number three, can Jackson be saved? He's like one of my favorite supporting characters and I was not happy to find out that he'd taken the chip. If you don't know, Jackson's the med medical helper guy with Abby and he's the only one who I was like, no, at when he, I found out he'd taken it. Everyone else was like, oh no, but Jackson was like a real, ah. And question number four, when are Clark and Lex are going to admit that they have feelings for each other? It's kind of painfully obvious now, and I just, I want them to get the relationship done and over with so that we can move on and have something else. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comments below what your top five OMG moments were for the episode. And as always, stay random. Bye. Laptop computers and other large devices must be stored in the overhead lockers or underneath the seat in front of you, in their cases, and not in your seat pockets.